Hi, I'm Dr. Josh Axe, doctor of natural medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the top seven foods you should be consuming in the fall that's gonna really help heal your body and support your body in getting healthy. Now, here's the thing to know. Again, it's so important that we eat seasonally. Do you know when you're eating food seasonally, you're nourishing certain organs in your body? Now, there's an ancient form of medicine, and again, I just wanna mention in this video, I'm gonna share with you the top seven. When you get this list, write it down, put it on your fridge, and go out and get these foods because these foods are the most healing in the season you're in. There's an ancient Chinese principle that says consuming certain foods certain times of year will help strengthen certain organs. So in the fall, when you think of foods like what you'd have at a Thanksgiving meal, those foods really typically are the most nourishing for your body in that season. So I'm gonna list these off now. Number one is Brussels sprouts. You know Brussels sprouts is one of the most fiber rich foods on the planet? Brussels sprouts are also high in sulfur, which is really fantastic for your cellular health. So Brussels sprouts, the way that I love to cook these is in some coconut oil. You can bake them or saute them in grass-fed butter or coconut oil or both, or do some ghee as well, it can be great. But really just sort of saute or bake them. You can also steam Brussels sprouts as well and dip them in something like hummus, which can be great. But Brussels sprouts, an amazing fall superfood. The next food you wanna be consuming is pumpkin. Now listen, of all the foods on this list, pumpkin is one of the most healing. Now I'm not talking about just it being in a pumpkin pie, but doing that as a smoothie in the morning is amazing for your bowel and gut health. In fact, a lot of the patients I've cared for in the past who had digestive issues, I'd have them consume a pumpkin blueberry smoothie in the morning and it was re they noticed really big improvements in their gut health. The next food is pears. Pears are one of those seasonal fruits that are absolutely delicious. Now doing pears, cutting them open, by the way, I wanna mention an herb and spice that's seasonal as well and it's cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice. Buy some pumpkin pie spice, sprinkle that in your pumpkin smoothie. Sprinkle that uh, on pears. Uh, you could do baked pears in, uh, in the oven for dessert. That's another great thing. But again, doing pumpkin spi pie spice is great along with pears. Pears are one of those seasonal fruits. Pears are actually another fruit that is really good for the digestive system, really easy to digest. Another food I love are turnips. You know, a lot of times we consume potato chips or french fries. I like making turnip fries. Turnip fries are lower in calories. They're more nutrient dense. And so you can actually take turnip fries, make them, cut them in wedges like you would uh, French fries, cover them in something like coconut oil, bake them in the oven, and you have turnip fries, dip them in ketchup. They are delicious, but that's a great fall food. One of the things you'll notice about this list is a lot of these foods are yellowish or they're orange. That's known in Chinese medicine. We should be eating a lot of orange foods or pale yellow foods in the fall because it's strengthening our digestive system. Your digestive system is the strongest in the fall, and so we should be consuming a lot of these orange and light yellow foods uh, there during this time of year. One of those foods can be squash. Squash tends to be yellow, orange, and sometimes a little bit of green, but a lot of times squash is orangish or yellow, which is very nourishing to what's called our earth element in Chinese medicine. So butternut squash is fantastic. Spaghetti squash, another favorite. Acorn squash, and of course pumpkin is in that family as well. But consuming squash, it's a great time of year to consume different types of squash. Yellow squash is great. Uh, there can really support your body. Beets. Beets is great for your blood. Really, beets is kind of found throughout summer and fall as well. Um, consuming beets really helps build your blood and your energy. Did you know there's medical studies showing if you consume beetroot juice, you can actually run a faster 5K time. It gives you more energy, more brain power. So consuming beets is really good for your blood. And then sweet potatoes, another one of those orange fall foods that's so good for your digestive system. Now listen, you don't wanna go overboard and eat like three sweet potatoes at a time, but if you're eating that as your carbohydrate for the day, it can be really good for your body. And again, the thing I love to do with sweet potatoes is put on some of that cinnamon on there. You do a little bit of grass-fed butter, a little bit of cinnamon on there. Tastes absolutely amazing. And remember, it's really important that we eat seasonally. There's something called your Chinese sort of seasonal clock and calendar. There's also seasonal eating charts. I encourage you, just look up Dr. Axe seasonal eating chart on Google or YouTube or, uh, or Instagram. A lot of times you can find these different 
uh, sort of a seasonal eating chart so you know what foods to eat in season because when you're eating foods in season, they're riper and they have more nutrients. When you're eating, let's say for instance, pears, okay? It's a prime example. When you're trying to eat pears out of season, they tend to be rock hard. They're really not ripe, they have less flavor. When you're eating pears or pumpkin in season, they're more nutrient dense, they're more healing to your body for so many reasons. So remember, eat seasonally and eat these seven fall foods to take your health to the next level.